Oh, I have missed this. Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Top 10 Game of the Years for 2021. I am, of course, one of your humble hosts, Elijah, sitting with me today, as always, Alex. Hello, my good sir. Alex, we just came off of a holiday break Oops. sickness break as well in my <laughs> terms i had i gotten a little ill not covid don't worry everyone don't worry no worries no I'm worries okay i'm okay everything's uh, good lost my voice for a couple of days that's why we're coming into mm -hmm. you later than what we wanted but for you, you it's no like, different you sound like the old person from spongebob I, I did i did i did sound like the old person from john john you John. called me you were like what's up i was like oh god <laughs> yeah i sounded i sounded like i had been smoking for 47 years <laughs> Uh, it's like the, commercials. Uh, you're gonna die from tobacco. I'm sure. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, They had holes in their. Oh, jeez. Oof. Uh, I feel bad. Uh, we'll talk about that probably in another show. I wanted one. I wanted this to be top ten. So mm -hmm, I'll talk mm -hmm, about the sickness mm -hmm. and all that later. But this is, of course, the Easy Achievers Game Podcast, where we come to you every single Friday, usually for the news you think you want to hear, but. Instead of that, of course, we wanted to start the year with a little remembrance of last year. What are the games yes. that we liked? What are the games that hit that top 10 list that we love so much? Are there any things that are going to be coming into our pantheon of top 10s? What, is the, what was the year like? What did we enjoy? What didn't we enjoy? What are some things that we want to talk about? What was our addictions? What was the things that we missed out on? All that and more is going to be discussed today on this episode. And with that, Alex, I'm going to quickly remind the Achievers, you can, of course, support us a number of ways. You can support us freely, be a free Achiever, and go like a, a video, like some sort of video, subscribe to the actual YouTube page, hit the notification bell. If you're listening to on a podcast service currently, you could, of course, leave some sort of five-star review on whatever you're listening to. That helps us immensely. And if you want be some sort of easy achiever or we have a bunch of different tiers over on our patreon page just check that out look at the tiers let us know what you like what you don't like <clears throat> about the patreon page this is the new year so this is we are in the changing period if you like or dislike something please let us know so we can implement that for the year coming up so go on to the patreon you can of course dm us there privately you can of course comment on the youtube page we are always looking at youtube comments Aside from that, Alex, I want to get into the discussion. Now, we're not going to start with our top 10 just <clears> yet. <throat> we're going to go with a little category I started this year. This is going to be slightly different from our normal year. Usually, we just do a top 10 and that's it. This year, I added a couple categories to kind of lightly touch on a couple things that we wouldn't normally. Uh, the first category is, I wish I had more time. This is a game that you wanted to play, but you just could not find the sweet spot. There was something else. You had another life event. There was some sort of prior engagement. They had another game you were playing, or you were addicted to something else at the time. And this is those games that you just didn't have time for. Now, mine, I have four of them. Okay. Quite a bit. These are games that I know I would love. I know Oops. I will love. This is not a question. I know if I play them, I will like them. It's just I did not now, have time. What was that? Now, there is a game that I would add to I wish I had more time. Okay. But it is on my list. Mm. Now, is any of those games you're going to mention mm. on your list? No. Interesting. Okay. I the, like your thought process, though, because I never because thought I, I would have I wish I had more time, and it's also on a list. Yeah, because the game, there's a certain game that I really enjoyed. I wish I had more time to beat it, but I enjoyed it to where it has to go on my list. It has to go on the list. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I'm very excited yeah. for that. Don't yeah. tell me which one it is. No, I don't know. And it, honestly, could be two of them. Oh! I'm getting right into it. Alex, right. my mm. first I wish I had more time okay. is a game I started and just did not stick with because something else came out. Psychonauts 2. This is a, mm. a game that I very much love. Yeah. My time with, I'm very early in the game. I, I got past two yeah. stages. And, and I enjoy it. It's just something else came out. I believe it was Forza mm -hmm. Horizon, actually. I believe. Yes. 
And I went and played that and loved that game. So I immediately dropped Psychonauts 2. And that's unfortunate because they really do want to go back to that game. Uh, it's very charming. The art style is very intriguing. I do like what I've played so far. I have not played the first one. But the little bit I did play. Mm-hmm. Very intriguing. Alex, give me a game that you wanted more time with. Aliens Fire Team Elite. Aliens. Early Fire Team. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That game I... That game, I wish I had more time because I yeah. didn't finish all the campaigns. Right. And I wish I had more time with. Mm-hmm. And uh, Elijah, this game is on my list. Mm. Can you guess where on my list this is? Mm. Ten. Higher. Oh, higher? Okay. I, I, I had one guess. I have one guess. One we'll guess. We'll, we'll one get guess. to it. We'll get to we'll it. But you just think that I it, keep, it, it keep it in the back of your I, head. I thought it was ten. Anyways. Inscription is another one. We talked about this right before we left, I believe. Inscription is a very popular game right now. It's very scary. It's a very weird looking game. I don't know much about it, but what I have Mm -hmm. seen, I want to play it. It seems like some Mm -hmm. sort of card game. It seems like one of the games where the less you know, the better. Gone Home is a game I think of it like that, where like you you shouldn't really know about the game because knowing the game kind of ruins it. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Cub is another example, I think. Um, the mm-hmm. less you know, the better. And that's one of the games that I wish I had more time with. And I plan on playing these eventually. Just didn't make it for 2021. Mm-hmm. Now, Alex, give me one. Hmm. You have um, any more? So you don't have to have any more. I, 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 I do. I wish I had more mind. time with Kenna, Bridges okay. of Spirits. So that was my next one. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I, I played the very literally 20 minutes, maybe. I played and I, just, I played the, probably the first two hours. Yeah, I did not play nearly as much. I played maybe 20 yeah. minutes, and I was like, okay, this is cool. And I just, it yeah, was in a I time think I, where I wasn't really trying to play games. I was like trying yeah. to see what would get my appetite. And yeah, and that's how I out, felt. So I went and played, yeah. like watched a TV show or something with the wife, read a yeah. book or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Next one, yeah. Artful Escape. Mm. I haven't even touched this. This is a thing I just haven't touched at all, but yeah. just seeing it looks incredible. Just look, looking at the screenshots the videos i've heard like it's really good yep i i have two and i do I, again these are all games i'm going to play i just didn't get to them. do you have any more mm-hmm. i do have one more because i the first game at first i didn't really like i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna stick with this i stopped playing it and i didn't want to go back after you told me there was a god mode yeah uh hades yeah okay i wish i had more time with hades because i uh i think i would have given it another shot after i, I learned about the it's whole one those, it's one of those mode. games where i don't know if you'll like it you might it's, i've you i've might never been a, a roguelike rpg guy uh, like yeah, returnal but... was fine i just never beat it i was yeah. just like meh yeah not saying it's a bad game it's a great game i right, just right. i was like i played it and i was like oh that's enough for me Okay. I'm done with my thing, so this is going on Same. to honorable mentions. Mm. Now, these are those games that it just didn't quite make it on the list, but you did have to include it in some way. Now, oh, yeah. if I had, if we were doing like a, some sort of like presential thing, this had to be very formal. I would have cut mm-hmm. this a little bit more. I have five honorable mentions. Really, it's three. But I have five. Yeah. I, so the two I have, three. I'm going to rapid fire these last two because it's really one, I got rid of one. Yeah. It's really just I need to I need to give this thing. Yeah. Mass Effect sure. Legendary Collection. Same. So yep. you it's can, not on my list. You can't it's, you can't put it on your top ten. Mm-hmm. I, it's just not fair. It would be top one. It'd be the it'd be top. So it's it's one of the like. If you wanted to cheat, you could, but I, I funny? when I make my top 10 game of the year, I just mm. can't take trilogies or remasters, of course, and add them. It's funny that list. if I would have added it on my list, it would not have been in the top five. Wow. Mine mm-hmm. would have been top, for top one, I think. It's just because I've played them so much. I mean, I know I like them, yeah. but it, it, to me, it just didn't seem fair. Yeah, 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 of course. It's not. It is, and it isn't. It isn't. But uh, that's yeah. just a quick one I wanted to go through. Um, yeah. Another one, very quickly. Um, I almost put this here because I felt like I had to almost. Um, but um, Resident Evil Village is that, a that quick... was the one that I got rid of, but that was one of my honorable mentions. Yeah, so that it's another quick one. Um, yep. it, it's one of the things where I kind of feel like I had to put it on here. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. I honestly, if I had to be honest, I was disappointed by Village. 
wasn't I'm not saying it was bad. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I'm just I thought it was gonna be here and it was here. But it's not that's not a bad thing. I thought it was gonna be much better than it was. I thought the castle was gonna be a much bigger thing, uh, because yeah. they kinda told us it was and they kinda lied a tiny bit. Oh, um, PR was about yeah. Lady and yeah. really that's that, like they were a little, yeah. in my opinion, dishonest with that. Of course, yeah. that's their job. I'm not saying it's good or bad, just they were now, which in one my do you opinion, prefer seven or eight? I, what? Resident Evil, which one do you prefer, seven or village? Uh probably village. I don't know. I don't okay. I don't I don't feel strongly for either one. So mm. I think that says more about the games than anything. Um, but mm-hmm. they're they're both very good. I think I prefer seven, maybe a tiny bit more. I don't know. I'd have to replay seven. It's been too long. Mm-hmm. But neither have left a great impact. Um, although yeah. I do love the vampire castle. Well, it's, it's, only, it's they're there story, for an hour. I like village better. Uh, game, how the game is put together, like how everything goes right. together. I game think design. seven was better. I, I guess yeah. Well, yeah. how all the yeah. I think seven was better. I can see that. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I could probably agree with that too. But yeah. yeah, yeah. It was there. There are a lot of good part parts of village mixed in with a bunch of whatever parts. But I'm I'm rambling. Um, Alex, give me one of yours. Death door. Death door is an honorable mention. Yes. Okay. I couldn't. I, I didn't put it on my list, but I had to give it honorable mention because I got to the very, to the very end. Right. To beat. Okay, for people who haven't played Death Door, I mean, you should have. It's been. It's it's the last year game. You should already been played it. Um, when you try to go I beat the door, really, the, really the door guy. Yeah. I the last you're... boss. So, yeah. I yeah. I could have beat him. <laughs> oh wow! I gave it a couple tries, and I was just like. I'll come back to this later, and I never did. I had such a good time with that game. Yeah. Um, my honorable mention, Deathloop. Mm. I think it's shocking for people to, to not be on the list just because of how glowing yeah. a lot of people have been about this game. Uh, this is not to say this is a bad game. Um, I think me and Alex both agree that it, was, it is overhyped, in my opinion, quite a bit. Um, is it a 10? Not in my opinion, but that is kind of the point. Um, this is someone's 10, and that's good enough for me. I don't really care. It's now, my 10. Now that, now, that, <laughs> now that that's out of the way, um, I enjoyed the game. Mm-hmm. The story was a mess the way it's told to you. I did not quite enjoy the mm-hmm. way it is discussed and all that. Um, I don't love that it's everything's kind of told you sort of audio log-ish, but also through... The, that's a spoiler, I guess. But um, dude, the lady that you're talking to and stuff. I don't know. It's it's quite the game's quite a mess. But the gameplay loop is very satisfying. The capturing yeah. of the people, I do feel like you get very strong very quickly, like mm-hmm. very quickly. Like I max out my stuff pretty fast. Maybe I was, I, you know, maybe I should pump the difficulty up a little bit or something. But um, mm. there's various reasons why I, although the game is very good, I do not think. It is worthy of top ten material. I didn't think I was gonna finish this game, but I did. You you so, should have one more honorable mention, right? We've went through two of mm-hmm. yours. So what's your next one? And I'll Metroid I'll Dread. Fire mine too. Metroid Dread. Okay. I had to give an honorable mention. I didn't play. I couldn't. I got to the second big boss, but okay. it was like the third area, or whatever. I was playing a good bit. Got stuck. Great game, but it's just I'm I'm not good at these games. So I was yeah, just like I, I can't. <laughs> but for what the game was, I mean, it was fun. Yeah. I, I, it was honestly, it was my first Metroid game. Yeah, and I, I mean, I enjoyed it. It looked great on That's my good. OLED. I mean, it's so, it, oh, it looks so, it looks great. It is a great. All right, I'm great. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna quickly go through mine. Uh, my honorable mention: Pokemon Shining Pearl. It's a Pokemon game, and I think I yeah. said this when Pokemon Sword came out and Shield. It's Pokemon, so like, I am neither excited nor disappointed i guess um mm-hmm. it's when it i can't you know it's pokemon it's yeah it's just pokemon. so so like that's not you know i'm not saying it's good or bad it's just it's exactly what i expected um yeah. it's really fun i love playing it it's uh it's almost peaceful in a way because 
it's one of the games where like I just don't really have to think. I just kind of chill. I can talk with my wife while she's playing. Mm-hmm. We can trade. We can say, "Oh, I found this." You know, I it's yeah, you know, I got it here. Oh, okay, I'll go grab it there. And it's a, it's very um, collaborative in that way too. It's, it's kind of it's great game. Stopped but, playing it on purpose. Yeah, because I didn't want to feel overdone because we get Pokemon, the new Pokemon coming out this month. Yeah, yeah and I don't want to over drown it. So I was like, I you know it. what, I'm gonna stop. I played this before. I get it. Now, Alex is going to be, I think, shocked at this next mm. one. Um, my last honorable mention, Forza Horizon 5. What? So, Forza Horizon oh, 5. Interesting. A fantastic game. Incredible okay. game, even. It's okay. I'm more of the racer guy, but it's, it's okay. It's an incredible game. It just didn't... It is number 11. Did you but it's it? not top 10. Uh, yes. Okay. It, it, I beat it in like I did all the... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. I have two of the big showcases left. Sorry. Gotcha. I have so two that, of the okay. big, big, like massive showcases left. Mm, uh, if I gotcha. remember correctly. I might yeah. be wrong. I'd have to go back. It, I need yeah. to finish the game fully. But Ooh. the p- stuff I play, this is by far the best Horizon game. I love racing. I, I'm, but I'm not the. I'm like Alex said. I'm not the biggest racing guy. So if there's only so much I can enjoy a Forza game. Yeah. I love, I love how ra- arcade is. It's awesome. Yeah. It's just it literally just literally number eleven. Just honestly, I feel bit. like I would have been with you if I didn't have that steering wheel because I changed. I played a good bit of the game just controller, and then I was yeah. like, you know what? Let me bring out the steering wheel, and it changes my gameplay so yeah. it i don't get bored of it yeah so i'll every once in a while i'll go back and forth between steering wheel and stuff and it's fun yeah because so after I think a while that's I it longer. feels like i'm just kind of picking the same cars over and over again mm-hmm. i wish i had more of a yeah. selection maybe or something but after a while it does it it, it got stale for me um mm-hmm. i think i'm not playing it right if i'm being honest i feel like i should be switching cars or spending more money maybe i don't know anyways last i'll mention forza horizon 5 now Understand. A fun little game that I was going to play with you, Alex, mm-hmm. is guess are one and ten. You technically already told me your number ten. Um, Sorry, no, it's okay. Got excited. It's okay. So I will just guess your one, and you can try and guess my one and ten. So, Ooh. okay, Who's what do going you first? think, Alex? Is okay. one and ten. Pick whichever one you want to go first. I okay. think your number one uh-huh. is it takes two. Do not say anything, of course. Achievers, okay. you can write this down. Maybe you can guess if you think you know us. Write a guess down. Maybe okay. comment below what you think it is. Well, I think Alex is number one. Is it takes two? All right, okay. you go, Alex. What do you think my one and ten are? Oof. All right. I do oh. not think you will guess it. No, I honestly don't because I feel like I had some of these games I don't even think you have on your list. Hmm. Well, crap. All right. <laughs> All right, it's weird, but I, okay. Number 10, I feel like, is Metroid. Okay. And I feel like you're number one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say Guardians. Okay. All right. Number one and number 10. My number one is Guardians, and mm-hmm. number 10 <laughs> is I, i'm like 50 50 Dread. because i wanted to say it takes two but i'm like it's not, i don't want to be the same and i was okay. like so no, 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 I'll pick okay. guardians okay okay all right so, so we'll go with that you go ahead since we know what your 10 is go ahead yeah my 10 is death loop death loop okay why yes. for some reason i thought i was I, like i said i was gonna i thought i was gonna be very like annoyed by this game i was like oh is this just repeating it's like roguelike i, I, I didn't think i, I was gonna finish too. it i did not think you would play it i didn't think this i was gonna finish it because th- right off of hades this, this is coming off of me seeing it for the hundredth time i'm like i'm done with this game yeah but after i kept playing it and playing it and playing it i just if if it's that game felt very uh not catatonic it's like where i was kind of like where i'm just i'm not uh, paying attention, I'm literally just doing it and just chilling. Yeah, it's just one of those chill games. The perfect way of putting that—you barely okay. are awake playing games. Yeah, I'm literally it's just chilling. A ritual. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I was just chilling, playing it, and I was like, "Yeah, it's it's all right. It's something <laughs> that passed by the time." 
uh, and I don't want to take credit for this. Maybe correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong here, Alex. I really do okay. think I saved the game for you because I told you to do the mission ideas. I told you to oh, do no, the for sure. Because yes, originally, yes. like me, I was playing the game wrong. Me too. I was yeah. kind of just doing stuff, and I yeah. thought you were supposed to kind of figure stuff out on your own. And I thought the leads were kind of hints, but like I didn't think mm -hmm. you'd follow them and like go like point point for point. Mm -hmm. But when I figured out, oh, this is your quest log. Like this is yeah. like you need to do this. I was yeah. like, okay, this has after you. Yeah, after this you is told way me that, I was now. like. Uh, that's why I was like, I started going to through that through that list, and I'm like, okay, finish this one out. Yeah. All right, that one's done. Go to the next one. Okay, cool, that one's done. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly uh, yeah, what I did. So much better. I, I was like, okay, now I can juggle this. With that's some why structure. it hit. That's why it hit ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my number ten is Ratchet and Clank Rift Ooh. Apart. Oh. Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> you sure did. You sure did. <laughs> you did not play this game too much, so uh, mm -hmm. I do not think it was on your list. I um, think I played ha maybe half of the game. I, th I think so. Something around yeah. that. Uh, I enjoyed this game very much. Um, I okay. loved the back and forth with both Ratchet and uh, the buddy in the game. Um, okay. I love the... Uh, I love Clank. I love the additions of Rivet and... Um, I'm blanking on her name. I'm sorry, Achievers. Uh, the storyline with her uh, kind of clank character, I loved everything that happened with that. The kind of twist with that character at the end. Um, I loved Rivet and Ratchet's interactions with like, oh, it's another Lombax. You know, oh, that's rare. Mm -hmm. And then the kind of hint at the end of the game was really cool too. Um, I, di I did like the level. Although this game was kind of pitched a little bit differently, um, I did. I did think it was going to be a lot crazier with the rifts. Um, yeah. There were really just grapple points in the game, not really like, not really entering dimensions. I thought it was originally. There is one mission specifically though that I loved, that you are teleporting from the fixed, complete world, and it's all normal. And if you hit a stone that travels you back in time, or another dimension, I don't remember. I think it's a dimension. I don't quite remember. I think it's a dimension. It like. Puts you to a, the same dimension, but everything's destroyed. Hmm. And um, you're basically... Reminds me of Titanfall 2. It's 100% like Titanfall 2 with the, the time watch thing. Time watch, yeah. You're, you're hitting back and forth, going into different parts of these. Uh, one's a pristine world. The other one's damaged. And you can go through certain things. You can find one thing in another world and bring it back and fix something else in the other world. Very fun level that, it, that I am still thinking about to this day because of how fun it was. Um, it does have some problems. It does get stale in some places. I do think the 2016 Ratchet and Clank is probably better. But Interesting. Okay. this is still a great game. This is a fantastic game. I love the weapons in Ratchet and Clank. They're the right amount of silly, I think, because mm -hmm. uh, of the, just the crazy stuff you can make it do. It is very uh, crazy with like all the gear you're shooting at you. It's trying to show off PS5 stuff. Uh, yeah. Fantastic game. Loved it. Cool. Alex, number nine. Mm. Jurassic Park Evolution Two. Mm. You like you love this. I and I love watching you because it's like because it's I, it's similar Me, to like I, watching I, a streamer that like, play a game they really like. I just get to feel, see I feel something like, and enjoy something. I feel like me trying to explain this game to you when you were over and showing you how everything works is like me watching you play Civ and I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, but like it's being able to put everything. And I'm like, oh, there's a hurricane coming. Let me turn. Let me open those shutters. I'm gonna make sure that each place is is you know, fixed. Oh, there's a thing. Um, the dinosaurs out. Let me go tranquilize them. Oh, let me fix that. I don't know why. Enjoyed every bit of it. Yeah, no. It it and like I said, it's very fun to watch, especially how you're on the fly fixing things. How you're kind of thinking of three things at the same time. Oh, while dude, that was everywhere. Other issues. It's very it's very satisfying to watch, and also it's so granular that you are setting the price of your merchandise as well which i'm mm -hmm. very fascinated about that is so I, cool. yeah mm -hmm. i can I, put what type of merchandise and like what i want to up, upgrade and depends on how what type of guests you have and that's how much money and revenue you get yeah my favorite part actually was watching you play the scenarios so like mm -hmm. when it was like hey can you make mm -hmm. jurassic park one work can you mm -hmm. make this 
island actually is successful? Can you make Jurassic Park yeah. San Diego work from the second one? Yeah, chaos theory. That's can you the make mode. can you make Jurassic World work? Can you? And I just mm-hmm. loved watching you do all that stuff. That was really satisfying. Yeah. Um, yeah. I loved that stuff. And then you had like those objectives and things. It was really cool. It was really mm-hmm. cool. What's your number nine? Death Store. Mm. Loved this game. Yeah. Fell in love with this game. Yeah. I was searching for all the secrets. I loved the boss battles. The mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> the guy with the pot for his head was such a... <laughs> did not think I'd care about that character. I ended up loving that character in the end. Mm-hmm. I love... Such a Dark Souls thing, too, by the way. Yes. I love the chef in this game. <laughs> is a dead guy controlled by a squid it is mm-hmm. awesome i just so many things that are so cool and so fun i love the the boss fights are unique the ending was very mm-hmm. touching the way they were describing things what is behind death store mm-hmm. was like this is so cool mm-hmm. then um not in the actual most touching point of this game mm-hmm wasn't even something that you experience story it is a thing you have to do when you beat the game you go and you meet a specific character and you do something that he asks you to do and it is a very touching scene with this character i do not want to spoil it if you enjoy the classic zelda games if you enjoy those metroidvania type top-down Games, please go try out Death Store. I'm sure it's on sale. I'm sure it's it was not expensive. Even if it wasn't on sale, I believe it was twenty bucks mm-hmm. a steal for this game. Sure. I'm Fantastic. trying not. To, hopefully, it doesn't try to like. I don't know if it, it, if it's can be spoilery, but can you tell me if this game? Because I know a lot of indie games get sequels, like a mm. second game. Can this game get a second game? You definitely could make a sequel. I like wouldn't Little Nightmares sh- got a Little Nightmares too, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if this studio, though, wants to make something else. Because okay. just the way it seems final, they could. Okay. Um, I'm sure they could. I would prefer them just to make a new thing. I don't want a sequel. I, I think we end it in a very satisfying way. Okay. Um, I would prefer to watch the studio go do something else. That would be very exciting. Um, but yeah, I, I can't. This is a darling indie to me. I really want people to play this game, especially to try and not only beat it, because it is challenging. It is a bit challenging. Yeah. I, I like that in the game. I died a mm-hmm. good bit of times. Oh, yeah, same. Um, I loved getting the health and the magic uh, upgrades. All that stuff was fun. I got mad when I couldn't get them all. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there were, and there was one specifically in the ice level when you have to combo. Oh, my God. When you have to combo everything. Oh, my, my wife was watching me with her mouth open like, how are you going to do this? And I'm like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not leaving until I do this. Yeah. And I eventually did. And it's so satisfying. So satisfying. Alex, mm-hmm. I will rave about death sore till the cows come home. What is your number eight? Aliens fire team elite. Pretty high up there. Yeah. Tell me a little I, bit played about it. It. I played it, but I, I want to hear I played, I as played an high aliens high fan, sh- as an mm-hmm. alien super fan. Mm-hmm. Tell me why you enjoyed the game so much. I mean, I mean, I I, I enjoy I enjoy, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. Um, playing halfway through the game because, like I said, it's one of the games I wish I had more time with. Um, I played two. There's four campaigns, and I played two of them. I mean, um, when we first played it, it, you know, I had some things where like the, the online was kind of weird with the whole. Yeah. Um, being able to pick somebody up or whatever yeah, after yeah. the second time i played it it was so much better yeah like it's it's cool how fast they worked on patches uh but being able to just go in there and just go hordes of z of xenos it's it was fun it felt like i was in one of the movies and yes. and, and, and like and even in that world like just because it's aliens it doesn't have to be about ripley it, i mean which i I'm, I'm excited for the show that's coming out, that it's because it's not about Ripley, it's just yeah. in that world, and yeah. I enjoy that. Yeah, me but, too. yeah, no, the game was fun. The gun sound, the, 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 the aliens sound like themselves, the screeching, it was so cool. 
It's gonna and be the types of aliens. They're so awesome. I, I didn't. I never even thought about making different types of aliens like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they were very um, creative with that. They they, they were able to kind of left for dead the aliens, make unique variants, and mm-hmm. it is a difficult game, which I enjoy. It. it yeah. You have it, 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 to it, 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 pay attention. Call. You have to pay yes. attention. You have to make call outs. Hey, there is a spitter. We have to come up at you, man. I have to use my ult now. You know, you have abilities. This is a very satisfying game. Play loop. I did enjoy my time with it, although it's just other stuff. Yeah. Number eight for me, Alex, is Returnal. Mm. What a fantastic game this was. What can I say about Returnal? It is a love letter to Alien. It is a love letter to Metroid. Um, It is a a very specific terrifying where you are on the edge of your seat and and the the game developers are saying, damn it, you are going to be good at this game if you want to play it. You will play and get good is the mantra that they are selling, similar to Dark Souls. Yeah, we are not bending to 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 make this easier. You're gonna play it. You're going to die a lot. I died. I think. Yeah, I died so many times. I think I died like twenty to thirty times or something like that. Oh, I died way more times. Yeah, than I that. heard people <laughs> died a lot more. I I try not to say how many times I died because it sounds like I'm bragging. I'm not. I'm just saying I I died a lot too. Um, mm-hmm. I did. I probably died that much in the first area. <laughs> I did beat the game. I did not get the true ending. Um, achievers, just so you know, don't want anyone to go out there and trophies be like, he said he beat the game. Um, I did not get the true ending. I do want to. I want to get. I want to go back. I want to get the logs. I believe they fixed that issue with the trophy. I want to try to get the platinum. Fantastic game. Love the weapons. Love mm-hmm. trying to get your abilities back. I love how tense it gets. My God, was I pissed when I died? But damn. Oh, you yeah. don't. There's no way to replicate the tension that you feel unless there's stakes involved. And mm-hmm. there were stakes. When I died, there was punishment. I was punished for not oh, being dude. good oh. enough. And I oh, liked dude, that. I, I, I felt that, too, because I was so, like, powered up. I was going towards, I think, the second, third boss. I can't remember which one. It was the one on top of the mountain. Yeah. I think it's the second boss. I was, like, my my stuff was all the way up. I was I had all the mutant engines on. Yeah, five like, parasites like, on you. Awesome. Like, you're, you're, yeah. You look awesome. This, like, yeah, you're running so cool. this thing. I was super strong. I got my yeah. guns shooting multiple shit. Yes. I'm over here fighting it. That much health, man, left, and it killed me. And it, I, it just, you just even spawned to the end, for, to the beginning. I was just like, <sighs> all right. Yep. I was like, that was me. I knew it was me. I said, I'm not going to be mad at the game because it was like that. I'm the one that fucked up. So. Also, shout out to them. I've never played a game that starts that quickly. When you die, oh, yeah. you yeah, get the instant. flashback, and you're back into the game. Yeah. There, there is no... Here's a loading screen. Here's some hints about the game. No, you're dead. You go black. You're back. You're back. And, and you hit the ground again. And you're, you're like, oh, my God. And the audio logs are so terrifying. The tension is built up every time you pick one up because it's a different. It's a different her talking every time. Oh, my God. Like, the thing I wanted to figure out, that's why I want to beat the game was that fucking house. I want to know what's going on with the house. So like it makes me want to go play, but I know I'm gonna die. So, so I might just like like watch something yeah, because watch I something. really want to know what's up with the house. It's so ins- there's this game is so unsettling in yeah. so many ways. Uh, and and when you finish Act One, oh my God, what happens? Jesus, mm-hmm. oh, Alex, mm. number seven. Mario Party Superstars. Wow, Mario Party. Okay. I am right there with you with how fun that was. Dude, so much fun. Honestly, I, at some points, I wanted it to go higher, but I was like, I know, I'll put it right here. Yeah. But, dude, Great game. it was so, yeah, so fun. We I played it multiple times together. Yeah, I, we I played always multiple, have a blast. Yeah. Oh, you, you and my wife would double team me. Oh, it was, that's it's, not what happened. Oh, Don't lie was, to the Achievers. Mm, that's not what happened. It, achievers. It's, it, that's what it we felt like, okay? double team you. Look, they're here... The one, one gives me a cursed die, and then he, then then they're over there clapping and high fiving each other. Yeah, that double TV. I did that ass. double TV. I did a very specific thing to make sure I won. I won anyways. Yeah, I want a rematch. <laughs> anyways, 
so I much fun. The, I love the game. The boards, very fun. Mm -hmm. Although the last one we I played, do add more. the last one we played, Spaceland, I did not enjoy. If I'm being yeah, honest it was, with you. yeah. Not, not a very fun one. Um, although I do love Tropical Island. I did yes. love the cake one. Those are so yep, much the fun. Cake the mini one. games. Almost every mini game I love. Maybe <laughs> there's one or two where I am not very happy Somewhere when we like, get. Yeah, there's um, some that you get and you're like, there's no way I'm gonna win this. Yeah, there's but, ones that are that the deck is just a little too much stacked against you. It's like yeah. I get it, but still. Anyways, yeah, very fun game. Love. Hopefully they add more DLC soon because I'll buy them. Yep, me too. What's your number seven? Metroid Dread. Mm -hmm. God, did okay. I enjoy this game, okay. and I wish, I wish. I wish it was higher. Only the one thing that's bringing it down is a couple things. Um, mm -hmm. The actual Which design. I, I feel like I know. <laughs> the actual design of the game is a little bit of an issue. There are too, there's too many times where I am asking myself, "Where do I go?" Oh and the God. answer was blindly shoot around until a rock blows up. That should not be the answer. Um, so there was a lot, and that, that happens. That's a that's a and that's an issue with the game. That shouldn't that you shouldn't feel like you have to do that. There should be very clear indications on what should be breakable and what's not. And it just wasn't mm -hmm. clear enough in a lot of situations. There was a lot of times where I was like, "Where do I go?" And I'm like, "I guess I'll start shooting around randomly, and eventually mm -hmm. something breaks, and you get to go through it." And that's there a bit of an issue for the game. I do love the environments. I loved what they did with the androids. They are very scary. When oh one is God. chasing you, Jesus Christ, oh am I scared? And do Literally, I feel? I was screaming, and my wife was like, "Are you okay?" I was like, "Yeah." And boy, just, do I do me. I feel like a god when I reflect one? Because going oh, into yes. this, going into this, I'm I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna say who said it because I'm not trying to dog on them. But people were saying it's not that hard. People were saying it was near impossible. No, to block their their one hit kills. Mm. I did it three not, times in a row. Not true at all. Not true. Yeah. I did it. I mean, to be honest, I did it almost every time I got caught. <clears throat> After yeah. a while, to get used to the, <clears throat> the counter, it's not that hard. I mean, there's a shine. As soon as it does it, you see a little shine, and it goes, Pink, and then you hit it. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I I, I, it's not I, that hard. It's If you <clears throat> are used to quick actions in games, <clears throat> you will find that easy. They're easier than most, but I enjoy yeah. it the game so much the yeah. power-ups the difference of what you feel like at the beginning game at the end of the game uh what happens at the end of the game was really crazy i know you'll never see it alex but <laughs> i'm not a big guy on metroid lore i have no idea what was happening the entire game i still loved it i love the reveal at the end i love the twist i also love the <clears throat> twist twist at the very end Interesting. and then <clears throat> i loved um the kind of uh, every Metroid, uh, this isn't really a spoiler because every Metroid does. Every Metroid game kind of ends with an escape. So mm. almost every Metroid game has you end the game by running through the levels that you just went through. So you, now mm. you have a timer and now you have to escape. So get back to your ship. You have this amount of time. Oh. It's counting down on the screen. Go. And this has that. And this one is very unique. I very much enjoyed how they implemented the escape in this one. That's just one of the highlights mm. of the game. There's a bunch of other ones. I always loved when you got powered up enough to go kill one of the android things. God, that felt so cool when, so you, were able, when you were charging it up and you shot him in the face. Oh, it's so fun. So, quick thing, because there is, I think, five androids throughout the whole game or seven? I think it's seven. Seven. Once you kill them all, do you get, or excuse me, not get, do any more appear? No. Okay. No, it's only those seven, and you. Just wondering. I believe you. I believe you have to kill them all in order yeah. to get the upgrades. Um, so yeah, like, I, it's not to, even yeah. an optional thing. You have to kill them. Yeah, um, no, yeah. You have to. Uh, you have to do that to be able to continue. Yeah, and very, very fun. Fair. Yeah. What is your number six? Life is strange. True colors. Wow, number six. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now up to you. We can either talk about it a little bit now, or we can save it for when it gets to me. Up to you. Hmm. We'll, we'll save it. We'll, we'll save, save it. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk my, about it together. Because most six, likely we'll probably have the same uh, op, op, uh, so. opinions about it. I think so too. So I would rather save it as well. Yeah. What's your this, number six? This is a number, another question if you want to save it because I know it's on your mm -hmm. list. Mm -hmm. Tales. Tales of Arise. Number six. That's your number six? Number six. It what? is. It is. I, lo I love the game. What, do you want to save it though? We can, save, we can save this one too. When we it gets can. To you. 
Yeah, because yeah. mine's higher. Yeah, I know it is. I know it is. That's probably okay. your top three. So I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> All so, right. so let's let's let's. So we're 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 stopping with tales. We're gonna save that okay. for when Alex gets to it. Okay. And we're gonna save Life is Strange for when it gets to me. So okay, your number, number five. F- okay. Guardians. My number five is also Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. So I was fucked on number one. Yeah, you were. I was like, oh, that's some hit and miss. Dude, I'm not alive. I was going to think Guardians is right there with me. With Alex, you, Alex, but I'm I was gonna, like, I don't know. You're going to be shocked. This almost replaced my number four. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Anyways. Mm, anyways, right. let's talk about Guardians for a minute. All we right. had a spoiler cast. Yes. Right? Did we ever no. do that? No, we never did that. No. Oh my god, we should do that. We, I think we promised is, the achievers that too. Is it I'm too so, late? Achievers, no, if you want late. that, let me know. Yeah, let us know. I, I, th- I just realized we never did that. Oh my god, it must have slipped my mind. Anyways, let's talk about it now. Uh, not, we won't go full spoilers, but I can talk about this game pretty well without spoiling anything. Yeah. Wow. I care about Guardians of the Galaxy again. I care. I didn't care about them. I, I read the comics when I was a kid. I enjoyed them fine. Mm-hmm. They made me care about them in the movies. And now I care about them even more in this video Honestly, game. Honestly, I thought I was going to hate this game when they first showed it. I thought I was going to walk up in this game and be like, this is awful. First off, whoever, I must say, I said this when we gave our impressions. And I know, I know it sounds like a dick. Whoever made those trailers should have a talking to those trailers were awful awful they were terrible this game is awesome this is a fantastic video game i had so much fun playing this i have one one gripe that that makes it number five okay the combat after a while becomes stale yeah, it just becomes I too repetitive. I feel like I'm doing the exact same combos over and over so, again. Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, most of the time, I know which ones are good. I don't even bother yep. with the other combos. Exactly. I just I do this one over and over again because exactly. I know how, how fast and, it kills them. And it's, and it's such a shame, too, because if it had just a little TLC, I feel like this combat could be oh, for really sure. compelling. Especially Why can't I change to other people? Yeah, that's weird. Also, like, I, I get the game is mostly about Star-Lord. I you, should, you should also be able to fly more. I do. I don't like that you can't fly. You're hovering. One of the one of the cool coolest things about Star Lord really? is he's like this aerial shooter in the air. Why is this like, like? It's like, it's like, it's like if you would make an Avengers game and you have Iron Man do that, you only hover. Yeah. Like, no, it's he like, flies. It's kind of his thing is he hovers around and shoots stuff. Like it's cool. Um. Anyways. Uh, back to the, the that's just the biggest that's my biggest con of the game is the combat there's a lot yeah. of issues with the combat in my opinion aside from that the story is surprisingly compelling I did yeah. not think going into this I would care about anyone in the game I'm not expecting the way it was the, the actual story through line is very touching I mean yeah. I can't say it without majorly spoiling the game this is why we probably should do a spoiler cast. But the actual core of the story is so touching. The way you go about figuring out how to fix the situation is touching. I love the kind of love, hate, family thing that goes on with the Guardians throughout the whole game. <clears throat> it, it, I, I can't believe I loved this game as much as I did. This is a this was a top five for the year for me, and I, if yeah. you would have asked me, I don't, I wouldn't even thought it hit my top ten, easy, like without a doubt. And this was such a fun time. The Alex, very quickly, I know you will mm-hmm. know what I'm talking about. Cheevers play the game, the Gamora scene near the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Wow, I was like, this is a very heartfelt conversation we're having, and then the way it ends really solidifies their relationship and i loved i love that so good i think i think if you ever that is a perfect way of summing up how good the game is in my opinion is that one scene because it shows you the dynamics and it shows you how deep the story can get and i can't believe i'm saying this but one of the most touching stories this year was a guardians of the galaxy video game fucking what 
dimension of no. it. But what it, now? Let's. I want to hear. I'm talking too much. I want to. I want to no, hear no, some I, of your I, thoughts. I, on the I game. echo everything you said. I mean, it was. It. it I love the way it was. I know you. You really enjoyed all the costumes. Oh, I yeah. didn't really care for all the costumes. Really? I liked the, the. I liked the the heavy metal leather jacket. The music. Oh my god! Oh. So good. I, oh, I, I can't believe they were able first, to get all of them. When I first heard that first song, I was like, I sat there maybe and just listened to the whole song. I just sat there. And they just made that up, which is crazy. Literally, literally just chilling there. Went to my Spotify, downloaded the whole album. Yep. And I have it. And I and I have it on my when I'm on the car. I listen to it. Such a good. It's so cool. Such a good song. Oh, so so good. Such it, 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 like now, I, it makes me think. Which Peter Quill do I like better? This one. Yeah, by this a one? Million. million. Marvel Studios one. Million trillion this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, not even close. Me, my yeah, same. Not even close. I, I, I like say, the yeah. Marvel movies, but I am nowhere near as invested. And it's crazy because we've had them in how many? Uh, they've, they've been in four movies? Five, maybe? Three. Endgame, Four. Infinity War, Four. Guardians 1, 2, and then I feel like there was one more. Yeah. Infinity War, I guess Endgame. If you can't even throw God and Thunder, I feel like they're going to be... I feel like they'll cameo in that. I'm not sure, though. Maybe. Probably. But yeah, Anyways. like four movies, and we get one game, and we like him better. I mean, like, come on. This speaks a lot to the writing. The writing. Yeah. Oh my God. The choices yeah. are surprisingly fun. The, the, hearing Alex talk about some scenes, I'm like the fuck are you talking about <laughs> like i i they're that's how different they are and again a guardians of the galaxy game <laughs> is this good it is incredibly shocking i mm-hmm. thought this was gonna be awful i am so happy i was wrong i've never ever been this happy to be wrong being able to Such look through game. the through the to the ship and have the music playing through the ship oh. yeah yep and have oh, this very so cool. mass effects yeah environment where you're just walking you around feel, talking yeah. to people. it's i mean yep. it's mass effect for sure all I'm gonna say, the llama. That's all I'm saying. The llama. The llama scene was very fun. The llama, that's all I'm saying. I the love llama. that Good little puzzle. Anyways, very fun. Also, getting all the collectibles was very fun. I got almost mm-hmm. all the achievements, if it, or maybe did get all the achievements. I don't remember. I think I did. Yeah, almost all of them at least. A- a- any final thoughts? I, I I loved that game. I w- I would never have expected this to be on my top five, but it w- but it is. Alex, what is your number four? Four is a Horizon Five. Ah, oh, from from. Now, I, dude, I love this game. I love this, this game so too. It's just I love. I think I love it in a different way. But what is? Yeah. It was it just how I clean was, it feels. Yes. Yeah. It just. It is. Because it's the best people, racing game I've ever played. Easy. Yeah. Because well, because people for people who don't play like racing games, like um, I can't even think of anybody. Uh, for I mean, for people they were like, oh, what's the difference between Forza Horizon Four and Five? And yeah. they look the same. Yes, they have similarities, but being changing where you are changes it so much. Go and between in Forza Horizon Three, we were in Australia, and then in Four, we went to the the UK. Okay, yeah. And then this one, we're in Mexico. Between the UK and Mexico, such a different environment. Like, I enjoyed Mexico so much better than the UK. I mean, UK is beautiful, but it's always green. It looks, everything, everything looks awesome. looks very similar. That's why they kind of tried to do the seasonal more, thing. Oh, in, in like, like, bricks and more, mo- like, you know, it, it looks great. But, like, with Mexico, I mean, you have the volcano, you have the desert, you have sandstorms, you mean, you got the colorful Mexican beaches, and it's, it was so good. And then I can, I can never get tired of the vehicles. Like, exactly. Like, yeah. it's weird, because my favorite car is the R34 Skyline. Yeah. I used the 20, the, the, the new Supra more than I did my Skyline. It, uh, is that the Just WRX? Huh? I think that's no, a Nissan no, car. The, the WRX? No, is that a I, Nissan? I don't think so. I think that's Subaru. Oh, is it a Subaru? I, I remember something so. called a WRX. I enjoyed quite a bit. Subaru, yeah, Subaru WRX. Yep, I enjoyed that uh, that very much. Yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. The, the Subaru WRX was more for like dirt, uh, like the off road. Yeah. 
but yeah, no, the 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 Toyota Supra, the new one. I think it was a twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. It was oh, the way it sounded, man. It's so good. Oh. Enjoyed that. Game I loved so it. Much. Yeah, I love no, just I'm, listening and I'm glad to you it. Liked it so much because this is I, get, I literally game. got rid of all the audio in the game only and left the engines and i just listened to it i just drove Which, by the way shout out to them for having that as an option you can have a music uh as like the main sound you can have the engines as the main sound mm -hmm. i mean they didn't have to put that in the game yeah this the accessibility cool in this game awesome yes there's a lot of accessibility options too yeah you're right yeah my number four number four halo infinite all right. Halo Infinite. This, unfortunately, right. I can talk hours about Halo Infinite. Okay. It's one of the questions where, where do I begin? There, and I'm going to start with the campaign. The more it sat with me, the more I became to dislike it. I do. I don't think this is like, and I and I want to make it clear. This isn't like hate the campaign. This isn't. It's my number four, so I didn't hate it. It is a very great video game. I did not enjoy what they did with the story. There was very strange way of telling you what happened after Halo Five at the very end of the video game. I'm trying mm -hmm. not to spoil it too much because it is still technically recent. Um, yeah. but the way they handle Cortana, it's been a month exactly uh, to this date. Yeah, it's the the way they handled Cortana, the way that entire situation goes down, the interesting way we end it, and also, although I am hopeful for the future because there are things teased that I'm like that sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. There is a in my opinion, at least, a missing of stakes because we start the game at a low that doesn't feel quite earned. Um, I, since it's the start of the game, I feel like it's okay. You, you start off just as a, a beat-up Spartan, but like the literal start of the game is you being picked up by Atriax? Is that his name? I always say the wrong Atri one. A A you talking, oh, Atriox. Atriox. They all have the same name. And, they th and he throws you out in space, right? Very, very scary. Mm. But, but when you start there, you don't have context, so it's not as high of a stakes. And then you fight some other guy, which that that dude's cool. I loved his monologues. I love how he talks to you. And there's a bunch of other things. Go watch our spoiler cast if you want more in depth of what I thought with that. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, the way it ends, the way there were some strange story choices, and also... The game was clearly restarted and remade in a very short amount of time. Everything mm. looks the exact same. Almost everything looks the exact same. If I put you in one spot of the Halo and I put you in two other spots, you probably won't be able to tell the difference. You probably wouldn't be able to even tell me what part of the Halo you're in. Mm. Um so that sucks. That's one thing I loved about the Halo is like it's all artificial, so you could just do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This is this advanced civilization that yeah, you I do did wish whatever they, would have they want. A little bit different with yeah, that, like maybe one of the islands is more deserty. Tall trees and tall trees. Yeah, and that makes yeah. it clear that they had no time. Whatever they did, whatever whatever happened, something happened bad, and they had to redo everything. This is clearly. Mm -hmm nine months, maybe a year and a half of time into this. And they've been working on this a lot longer than that. So there's been a lot of issues with Halo. And hey, it wouldn't be a Halo game if there weren't a lot of issues. <laughs> so, so, and that's just, that's every Halo. But specifically yeah. with this one, when I think back to Halo 3, when I think back to Halo 2 even, when I picture missions, they leave an impact. And this one kind of bled all together. I can kind of remember one mission but then I like kind of can't remember another one. I feel like the issue was the, because of the or the way they did it with the open world. Yeah, I feel like if the missions off, it were doesn't really need an open world, in my opinion. This was I not feel necessary. like if the I mean it was fun. Oh, it but was I feel fun. Like it, I, I feel I like if, the, if it was mission to mission, I feel like it would have left more of an impact mission wise. I think so too. I think so as well. Um, 
I just, I, not to say that the open world didn't work. I just think the game probably would have been better without it. Just yeah. because there's more content doesn't mean it's better. I want to make that clear. Just because there's more doesn't always mean it's better. Yeah. I would have probably preferred all that effort just to be put in the missions and make them grander, yeah. crazier, uh, and more context to other things. And also, there's a lot of things that we kind of just skipped over from Halo 5 that still aren't addressed. I guess mm-hmm. they're retconned out. That I don't, I don't know. Anyways. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Go, go listen to our spoiler cast. I can only talk about yeah. so much. I, I've already kind of spoiled it a little too much, in my opinion. So I apologize yeah. for that. But there's no other way to really talk about it. Aside from no, Halo, yeah, for sure. that is my four. Uh, oh, and really quick to touch on the multiplayer. Loved it. But, like, it, it launched with two modes. Those modes were fantastic. The weapons are great. But when you launch with two modes, I can only play for so long. Oh, and you can play it for yeah. You just play it for so long, and eventually you just like eventually when do I go when back. I don't when know. You've played I mean, all that. four maps like seven times each in the single in the span of a week. You're like, all right, yeah. I you know I feel like um, it's sad, but I'm ready for season two already. Like that sucks to say, and I kind of agree. Like, damn, like, ugh, that sucks. Um, Mind you, I never really. I like Reach, but I don't love Reach, so... Yeah, I like it fine. This season wasn't for me. Yeah, I, I like it fine. But, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think a lot of this was mishandled. They've been getting a lot of flack over these last few weeks. Um, so, so, that's why I really haven't been talking about it publicly, because I feel like they've got enough shit already. Mm-hmm. I'd rather talk about it on the show so I could be more eloquent. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I, in my opinion, a lot of issues, a lot of things that... I want them to go back to the drawing board with whatever is coming out next. If this um, leaked patent is real, hope that works out, which it could be. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's let's move on. I I, I want to hear when we get to you. Uh, you're number three. Ales of Arise. Ales of Arise. I want to talk about this now. Yeah. <clears throat> Another spoiler cast that we did. So if you want to hear spoilers... Go over there. What a fun game. Now, you enjoy this much game. more than me. I, I want to hear your yes. opinions on this. Why is it your number three? What, what, is, what, what is that? What's that? If you, if you had to give it a one thing about the game, why did it get all the way to three for you? Combat, the characters. Like, what's that one thing that was like, oh, I think it was, this really I think it was, hmm. Crafting. I think it was characters. Hmm. I feel like the connection with all the characters was it your party specifically each other the party specifically okay. like like being able when you when you sit down at a campsite and you cook and you're like oh you can talk to this person or a, when you're yes. running around and you can press RB and then a conversation starts like having that so happen all the time literally I enjoyed it literally, the achievement for get, for doing it all yep. three hundred and something skits. Yeah, and and I literally loved every th- everything. Like having the con- uh, connections with everybody. I mean, of course, we're gonna know that you know uh, the the female and the male character look like they're gonna get together. Of course, but like, and I love that they added Kirito and Asuna from Sword Art. That was a top notch already. It was like the 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 uh, uh, for real. It's it, that was weird. The universe was like. We're gonna give one. Well, to Alex. Yeah. We're gonna give one to Alex for this. One. Like, uh, like, I was like, "Is this real?" I couldn't believe it was real. I, I was how like, hard yeah. that motherfucker was! Yeah, he was hard. He was hard. Oh, uh, but I did it. But I got it. Yep. But no, it was so much fun, dude. I think I put what was it, sixty to eighty hours into this game. I um, almost a thousand it. Almost thousand it. The only thing, the only thing I am missing is um. Uh, Fighting the last level 99 thing on the little uh, arena and making a couple more weapons, and that's it. I did everything else. It's nice. I just loved the costumes. I loved the crafting. I loved the combat. So so fun. I enjoyed everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with everything you just said. The characters were fantastic. I loved... This is kind of a new take on audio logs almost. You have these dynamic kind of 
conversations that happen while you're adventuring. I love that. that I, I, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think any other games really tried this or has done it to my knowledge. There's no that been a game where you're just walking and a prompt come up and you can experience an, an event. Your character will stop and go, oh, I've never been here. Um, and another character was like, well, I have. It's kind of like this. And, you know, the food here is like this. And you always mm-hmm. get a t- you always get a little crumb of that character. You always get a little bit more and every single time. A lot of animes things. try to do it, but I think the Tales line, the Tales game, does it the best. Because mm. I've, I've played all the Sword Art games, and I think there's, there is uh, audio, uh, like, they, they like little skits that they t- they talk around while you're walking and things right. like that. I don't remember if they do do like where it pops up and there's kind of like instead of just audio, it's like a little visual. Yeah, I don't remember if they do that. I think they do, but I can't. I can't remember. But clear, I feel like Tales. They put in a lot of effort. Into I think Tales the, like the series Tales because I when I played Tales of Berseria, that one I think did it as well, and I enjoyed it as well. Like that's probably like I love that Tales game too. That's probably my one of my sec. Like I've only played three Tales games and. The third one, I the one that I, I think it was Zesteria. I didn't didn't I didn't like it, but these two loved it. Yeah, this is the only Tales game I played. It was fantastic. Love the character yeah. dynamics. I love how yeah. you bounce off the back of each other. The heartbreaking moments are heartbreaking when they happen. Mm-hmm. The specific oh, things yeah. that happen between two characters, I very much enjoy. I do like the romance. It is a little telegraphed. Um, they, I mean, they, it's they, anime. I mean, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. And there's a lot of times where it's like. They're really much hitting you on the head. It's like, all right, I get yeah, because this is one of these anime games where, like, oh, you don't pick your romance. It's already kind of made for you. You just gotta, with, yeah. 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 Um, I, I liked the story that was told. Now, yeah. that being said, the way it ends, Jesus, dude, fuck. what? <laughs> uh, my dad. Funny story. My dad actually just collide. beat this game earlier today. Actually. You what? My dad just beat this game earlier today. Oh, actually. your dad played it? Yeah, yeah. He, oh, he, cool. he enjoyed it very much. Cool. And he was like, what? He said, I, and I quote, I'm going to read you his text message that I got a couple hours ago. Dad, Hilarious. if you're watching I this, I'm reading your text. Line, I did not know you blew it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, he did. So he said, verbatim, <clears throat> and I quote, what in the Dragon Ball Z shit was this ending? <laughs> Oh my god, and that is almost a perfect summation of how that ending went wow. down. And Alex, you know, skip 10 seconds, Achievers, if you have not played Tales, and if you care about a very small spoiler I'm about to do. One of my favorite parts of Tales is when I, it was when I looked to you and, go, and went, let me guess, you fight a planet at the end or some shit, and you just in silence go, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you're not wrong. <laughs> There's some nonsense anime shit that happens at the end, and hey, Ugh. that's why we're here. I played Persona. <laughs> we all know like, what's going on like here. The, Just fucking nonsense. The only, on anime, I feel like it's the only category where you can get away with that shit. It just I mean, yeah, just utter nonsense. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. people love that stuff, and I love the game. Yeah. I, I but yeah, the the ending is wild. The wild, mm-hmm. the the turn it takes, and like you're learning about like cloning and all this stuff. You're like, what the f- is this? Yeah, Anyways, yeah it's the lore in that game is just awesome. Uh, that was your number three. Yes, it was my number three. Life is strange. True colors. Interesting. So it's up there. It so is. I so my tales and your life is strange swapped. Yeah, they did. So Interesting. I fell in love with this game quite literally. Okay. I feel like I vacationed in this town for a week. Okay. And I experienced crazy stuff. I got yeah. to know some locals. I experienced a world be- through Alex Chen's eyes. Yeah. I found a early romance with her and another character. I was able to see that kind of bud uh, I was able to kind of have this fun music taste with her and stuff. This mm-hmm. was this is one of those rare times in a video game where I feel like I actually experienced something when I played this game. This yeah. kind of town that it's its own character that you're playing. The, the, the actual town has this very deep, deep lore almost. Uh, the episode where you are 
and I'm sorry to slight spoilers. Um, I don't want to spoil it. Actually, I'm sorry. I, I, the, you, dude, it's tw- it's 2022 now. Screw it. The episode. Okay, if you don't sk- skip it, skip a little forward. The, yeah. the LARPing, uh, the chapter. Oh, yeah. It's, Ugh, yeah. It's fantastic. So many things. I I just I am still thinking about the game. Still, I've, I beat this months ago. And I still think of Alex. I still think Thank of you. that. Oh, I can't. Never stop thinking about you. Um, <laughs> I, I'm still thinking about them. I still think about what happens at the end. I still think of some choices that I made. I it's, I love that's that. That's one little thing about Life is Strange that, that they do. They always leave a strong impact. That that yes. you're always in the back of your mind. You're like, damn, those decisions yeah. I've made in that game. Yeah. Like, they always like, stick like Life is Strange, man. Oh, it's so good. Yes, this 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 is Life is Strange. Like this, be the yeah. Like to me, Life is Strange, Life is Strange before the storm, and this one are fantastic additions. Mm-hmm. Not to disrespect two, that kind of missed a lot in my opinion of what Life is Strange mm-hmm. is in a certain point of view. But yeah. these specifically were. F- this game was f- fantastic. I. I, again, I there's I can rave about this game mm-hmm. for as long as anyone would listen to me. I, the 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 amount of characters that you get to the 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 community chat on like the the the, the in game Facebook. Dude, that, I walked around that that whole town when you when you get a chance to walk around, and I started looking at all their stuff. Like in the bar, I started looking at everything. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, what does that say? Because I always try to look for Easter eggs to see if there's anything of past games or see if they're in the same universe. Yeah. And I always look and I'm like, I'm like so I always like looking at that. So when we get something that's kind of like connected to the past games, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Alex, Alex is Chen. Mm-hmm. And when I say I can't express enough how stupid I thought this power was going to be originally, <laughs> I really did think that when I saw the 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 trailer i was like so i'm going from control colors time to being able to tell if someone's mad or not but they use it in very interesting ways the way they used it was very good specifically the ending to chapter two when you when you look at someone and they go it's a very specific situation happening. You go, why mm-hmm. is this person upset right now? That doesn't mm-hmm. match the scene. What? And it ends, and mm-hmm. you and you can now go into the next episode. Like, well, I have a different feeling about this character now. They why were it. you feeling this way? Then you deep a little closer. You figure out things are ha- so many cool like, things. This game makes me feel like I, I I I hope this is how empaths in real life are. <laughs> no, you are not going to see colors, but I, the feeling. That you get when you see those colors, that feeling, you're yeah. like, oh, that why getting something weird vibe from that one? I that's what I ho- I wonder if empaths actually are. Yeah, because it, it's it's a it's such a cool experience. Yeah, and the way the game ends, the way it ties everything oh. up, the the the, the last you choice. Have, you make. I sat there for yeah. ten oh, to dude. twenty minutes weighing the dude. options, and it oh. is a dumb video game that has yeah. no impact on my life and i sat there yep. weighing pros and cons mm-hmm. to fake characters because i cared so much about this video game loved it so much yeah i love it i sat here i can't had it paused I can't say it my wife was like you okay i was like i'm just thinking of what choice just, i want to do just think i'm just thinking <laughs> just thinking they're like all right. she's like uh, all right <laughs> I, I i'll rave Mm-hmm. I, assuming your number two is Halo. Yes, it is. It is Halo Infinite. You are I had, more long than I am. Clearly, there's there's more there, there's some flaws. I like that I agreed with you when you were when you were talking about it. But I did enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Like I literally got every collectible in the game right before i finished the game like after i got to a certain point i was just like i'm getting everything like for yeah. some reason me I, I enjoyed getting everything once i was able to, to get a flying vehicle so much better so much easier oh my god yeah there is yeah like i said there's some flaws the game the field the you know the 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 
was it the field of view? I think that's what it's called. Or like, or no, what, what's what is it when things don't appear as as fast? Draw or distance. like, thank you, the draw distance, terrible. Yeah, but yeah, but like, so far so the game, like I love the Master Chief has been for and Halo One. He like I was just recently replaying the Halos, and Halo One you can see that he's more human in this last couple and and even in at the beginning of this one he seemed very robotic like he's just machine he's like he was like a terminator he's just you know no emotion something i didn't bring up actually my favorite part is his interactions with the weapon correct that is my That's favorite part of the entire game is every interaction yeah. that they have together and yeah. every time they have to solve a problem mm -hmm. and that is always the best part of the game Literally, the part of uh, the, the scenes with the weapon yep. that I just love and emotion, it gave there's a certain scene that it gave me the same feeling when in God of War, Kratos goes to put his hand on Atreus' shoulder, but then takes it away. And you that feeling, I got a feeling like that from Halo and the weapon, or Master Chief and the weapon. I was like, ugh. Like, I just like the, the relationship. Yeah. And then the whole thing with Cortana. Like, I guess there's things missing. But, like, things that you, like, even, like, the, th the world, I like, I like the open worldness because yeah. you, the, I, I, I explored. Like, there's, like, little figures of Arbiter and, like, yeah. and things like that. Like, it's good, little Easter eggs. There's, uh, they even added Craig into the into the game a lot of weird there's, tricks, yeah. there's a little tour uh, record and it says it's craig's tour and it, it was hilarious it was so fun, so fun but like the, the little details they do you can definitely tell they changed a lot between that demo they showed us and uh because even the, the the demo they showed was completely different well, from this scene that like when i because i recognized it it yeah. was totally different like yeah, you could tell was. everything was different I and I enjoyed it a lot. I've always loved Halo. I think I think it's a little biased, but I enjoyed it so of much. We grew up with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree almost with everything you just said. Um, I just I was I just a tiny bit more negative, I think. But mm -hmm. it's a fantastic game still. I still recommend it. I mean, Jesus, mm -hmm. it's on Game Pass. Pay ten dollars a I, month and, and play the it new, and quit. The, the, the pilot. I mean, I love them too. Yep, pilot's very. Yeah. I actually thought we would get more of the pilot than we did. Yeah, I was actually I, the surprised how we got him, even. Yeah. yeah, even the scene we got with him that was heartwarming. Loved it too. Me too. And I do like it when, in the end when we get a more softened chief. That sure. Very yeah, nice that's too. what I'm saying. Like throughout the game, he's becoming John again. Yeah. So I'm like, I kind of like that. What's your number two? It takes two. What the fuck is left? <laughs> um, I will. Oh say, my god! I will All say right. what my number one is. So, my number one is cheating, but it's not. We're gonna talk about it in a little bit. Okay. So it takes two. Okay. Incredible game. Right. And I'll talk I about mean, it with you now. Yeah. We'll, we'll just talk about it now. Your number one? Yeah. It's, it Takes Two. <laughs> I mean, congratulations, right? To it Takes Two. I mean, it such a phenomenal game. Um, and I really my feel life, like... I had such a blast with this and game. If, and if I had an easy Achiever trophy, it would be a game of the year. It, it would be going to It Takes Two. And I'll, yeah. say, and I'll say why when I say what my number one is. Um, but, I mean, we've raved about this, but... The gameplay... How unique I mean, it is, dude! First off, how long this game is? Yeah, you feel like it's gonna end every turn, and you get upset that it's about to end, but it doesn't. Doesn't it? It keeps it going. Keeps going. You really do think you get happy like, about it? You really Most do games think it's about you do end, that or like fuck more. And, the, and and it's a game about two parents that are getting divorced, and you you play a game about. These two people trying to find each other again. Collaboration. Collaboration. And it's God. so fun. It is infectious. The, way did it. The, the game is almost infectious with the way it's 
speaking to you, the way it's talking about things, the way the way it uh, brings up very solid points about relationships that are very fun to talk about uh, and very compelling and very deep. I loved the um, I mean Jesus, I mean almost every level is yeah straight up perfection. Yeah. Like the music one is beautiful. The mm-hmm. snow globe utterly beautiful like, uh, there's so many times where i am just a gap of like so hard so such a heartwarming fun. game man. i i love the heartwarming moments where they're talking to each other and they remember a fun a fun memory with the little one they remember uh a, a time they went out somewhere you really do get to know these two parents them. yeah and them trying to figure out how to get back to like their normal bodies and help their daughter and it's I mean, it's it magical is the word, right? Yeah, it's it's no, yeah. I mean, it's crazy how the game makes you feel uh, with these two characters because you would think you're like, oh god, this game is gonna like not be great for people who are like who are like, oh, you know, you gotta work on your relationship, yeah. but uh, like you're gonna be like, oh, that's not a good idea. Such but a fun it, time. Such a fun time. My wife and I had a blast. Yes, I couldn't. I we couldn't stop. Me and my wife couldn't stop playing it. We thousanded. Well, we same. had to. We had to get all of our achievements. Had to. Yeah. Had to. Yep. So we loved it. I loved the Easter eggs of a bunch of games. Yep. Yep. Oh, there's a Zelda so reference cool. that I loved. Uh, there, there's so many things that I just enjoyed so much. So they, many they referenced things. their own game in there too. It was very cute. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and I, I think I can say this with pretty confidently. I don't think there's a game that I've played. That had this specific reaction. I don't think there's been a game I've ever played that's quite like this. There hasn't been a game where I am getting uh, this very specific emotion of love while I'm playing it. This is no. sort of like a, 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 almost like a rectifying. This game this it has it's like a category of its own. Yeah, like and shout out to this company doing something that everyone said was dead. Everyone said co-op is dead. Everyone. They've been mm-hmm. saying that for years. No one wants to play on couch co-op. No one wants to play uh, uh, co-op games anymore. We don't really get them anymore. When people ask me, hey, what are some fun co-op games? I go, let's Google some. I don't know. I don't, mm-hmm. Who knows? Now, it, well, this two, is... Two years ago, I kept saying um, the same game that they made. What was it? Um, it takes their uh, way out. A way out, thank you. Yep. And like that game was great as well. Yep, and this is a uh, Haze Light, if I remember correctly, is the yeah, studio. Yeah, Haze Light, yep. studio. Studio. Yeah, so, talented so much. Over there. Can't wait what their next IP is. Yeah, the next whatever the next game is, I can't. It's an insta buy. They've it's, they've yeah. made a fan. When yeah. I see Haze Light, now I know it's gonna be quality. It's gonna be a good time. I enjoyed it mm. way out, but Jesus, this is times Top twenty. Of, yeah, 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 for sure. And the little mini games where you have to fight your partner. So fun. Uh, the amount of times my wife and I were like, okay, reach rematch, rematch, rematch. One more time, one more time, one more time. One more like, time. Such a good time. I, I, yeah. Such a good oh, time. and then the, the oh, tower. Do you, do you have a favorite level? Um, and you could just be, you know, space or toy, was, like, uh, like Toy Story, or you know, like all that shit. It was between the snow globe and the, uh, I think the toy, the toy area. I think for and me, then, it'd probably be the snow globe, but the next one is yeah, music. The music one was very cool. Yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed the snow globe, and then the 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 tower. We were my what? I never seen tower my wife hell. so. I've never seen my wife so beat up. I was like, I have to do this. I was like, honey, you have to go to bed. She's like, no, I'm doing this, and she did Shout it. Shout out to her. She did it. When, hey, she, when, hey, she, when she when she was mentioning, when she did I, it. When she was yeah. mentioning, I was like, ooh, that's rough. I. I she, I was like, I, you know, I, I, I know your wife. She, she does play a lot of games. No, oh, yeah. But that was that was challenging. Like that was not yeah. an easy thing to do. I and didn't I was get like, it on the first try for sure. Like I it took me a couple of tries to do it. Yeah, and we play a lot of games. So yeah. To but the, she I, did it, a. And she did it. You, That's some. You know, I at the end. I was like, they well deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> well deserved. That was challenging. My wife did the same thing too. She was like, I have to yeah. do this. Yeah. Uh, and she and she did it. Yeah. So so good. Fantastic. I can't. Ugh. I can't recommend it enough. Please, Achievers, if you have not played it, please go play it. Yeah, such a good couch co-op. Even if you don't want to play it, have somebody, like, like if you have, like, kids or have both uh, kids play it and you guys watch, it's such a good game. I want to say, again, if, if, we, had a, if we had, like, a formal thing, It Takes Two would mm-hmm. win the Easy Achievers game of the year. Yeah. This is, a, a, th- this is not Easy Achievers game of the year. This is Elijah's game of the year. Make this clear. 
because I know this might upset some people because of a it? very technicality. Like, oh, it didn't come out this year technically. Oh no, it's Hades. Is my game of the year. <clears throat> Hades was a fantastic experience. Um, I have never been that guy to say that game has to release this year. Your game of the year should be your game of the year. What is your game? I don't care when it came out. What impacted you in that year that you are making a list for? In this game, I could not put down. Could not put down. There's a, there's a lot of vague areas too, Alex. I assume you're looking up the release date. It technically came in early access. Like The game came out on the Switch in 2020, but for Xbox, it did come out in 2021. Yeah. Yeah, so, so on I Switch, it was out in 2020. It. I would count it, it because it, 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 that version of that game came out in 2020. And I did not play it on Switch. I, yeah. I, first yeah. off, I didn't really have time to play it on Switch because I just had to wait too much other stuff to do. Two, yeah. I saw it. It was out on Switch, and I'm going, I'm not playing this game on Switch. I'm just oh, God, not. No. And I think it went in early access on PC, but, like, who gives a fuck? Um, it was it was, yeah it was released on PC Windows and Sw- uh, Mac or Mac Windows and Switch on September 2020. Yeah, so, and it, which followed an early access in December 2018. Okay, yeah, Jesus. Um, yeah, I I loved this game. This touched me so much. I fell in love with almost every character. The way a lot of characters are handled is such a cool twist on certain things. Um, I love the combat. I love the upgrades. I loved the way that they make re- redoing everything make sense. And then when you finish the game, they make it make sense again while you're doing stuff. It hmm. is a infinite game. In multiple ways, everything makes sense, which I really enjoy. Some roguelites don't quite make sense why you're why you're still doing them over an expense. Yeah. This this explains every single time you do it. And when you're first starting the game, you're getting breadcrumbs of what's going on. You're trying to find your mother. Why you know why can't I leave? Why why can't I leave this place? And you you start asking questions. You you get little pieces every time you get a little further. Every time you die, you go back and you're greeted with the um, uh, the god of sleep. Um, uh, uh, Achilles is your your the guy who's taught you how to fight. Like the best warrior to have ever lived. Uh, uh, Achilles is your teacher. Like that's so cool. Uh, Megara, Megara, uh, one of the Furies is your ex girlfriend. Like, there's so many fun things. You're the son of Hades. Like, it's there's so much. I, I, I love uh, mythology like this, and this. Mm. I mean, this is like a little nerdy fucking game for me with everything that's going on. Um. Uh, uh, the, your your little buddy, um, uh, Skelly, that you uh practice on, like oh, you have yeah. a little undead servant that you can mess up with a bunch. He um, reminded me of the the undead guy from Sekiro. Oh yes, yeah, that's a, that's actually that. a perfect uh analogy. Yeah, that that is that's mm-hmm. a perfect way of describing that character. Yeah, um, an in game reason why you have a training dummy, like it's awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then you can romance characters in this game too. You can have a threesome. Like this. Was, and that's when yeah when you told me that I was like, what? Yeah yeah you can romance one character if you romance so you can romance Megara you can get back together with her and you can also uh, mm-hmm. romance um uh uh, uh th- 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 Thanatos I always forget, mess his name up Thanatos I believe is how you pronounce it hmm. which is the uh which is death and, oh gotcha yeah and he's the brother of the god of sleep it's really cool shit interesting yeah. And um, you can romance both of them. You have the threesome. It's awesome. Awesome. Three hot people making out and banging. Oh, um, God. <laughs> anyways, uh, the storyline that you figure out with Hades, um, the way... And you know me, Alex. I'm a fan of companion levels. Oh, so, yeah. like, when I can get, like, companion levels up, similar to, like, Mass Effect... That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's so satisfying to me. When I, when, and I can feed them... Uh, get everybody, uh, everybody up. I can give them gifts and things. I get their uh, their keepsakes. Their keepsake minigame in this is awesome. The um, 
the doll feature near end game is really cool. The builds that you can make uh, with like the crazy high crit builds with uh, uh, Armatus, the crazy Poseidon builds you can have when you have Zeus combined combined with him. You can have crazy Achilles. Yeah, there's a lot of shit that you can do this game. Oh, that dude, I had so much fun making builds. Um, there's some crazy OP ones if you get like the right combination of boons. You mm-hmm. can go wild with those. I loved the. Uh, yeah, you put a lot of time into this game. I put. I mean, you put I, a should, lot. I should go look at my Xbox time. If I had time, I would. But um, I mean, eas- it's it's a lot of time. I bet. Um, easily, fifty hours. Easily, probably. Alex is a piece of shit. He he has a TV right next to him. I have a TV. I just haven't plugged it up. Um. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll, you keep talking. I, yeah, I, yeah, no, I'll, 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 talking. I'll, I'll, I'll keep raving about this game, but yeah, I, I mean, Jesus, like I had, I just had a great time and, and I, I felt achievers. If I'm being honest with you, I did feel, I do feel a little dirty putting it as the number one. It did not release this year. Technically it didn't, but I, again, I find the mantra is, what is your top 10 game of the year? And then usually someone has a question when you say that. Oh, mm. do you mean, is X game okay? And I go, stop. I said, what is Alex's game of the year? You know, mm-hmm. like, uh, wh- when I say make a top 10 of 2021, what does that mm-hmm. mean to you? And I walk away. No, no, don't ask me questions. And this is, when I sit down and write, this is my top 10 game of the year for 2021 a fantastic game called hades touched me in ways i didn't think i could be touched mm. in multiple ways uh and i lo- and i loved it i loved every second they- i I, so can, if, I can keep going but i, I- so if i go if, so when we make our 2022 list and i look back and i'll be like i'll debate on putting witcher 2 on there because i just played it this year are you gonna fault me for it I said I I want to be clear about this. I ask for your top ten. I did not say I did not make rules. I did not say I didn't say what is your top ten? It has to release this year. And that's fine if people want to do that. I'm not disparaging anyone. I'm just saying the reason I have Hades on there is because I I played it this year. It touched me. I loved I, I played it for way too much time to not put it on the list. And, For sure. if, and it's number one. I'm not faulting the game because it didn't come out this year. This no, and I yeah, fantastic yeah. game. Fantastic. fantastic armor. Also, it launched on Game Pass too. Didn't have to buy it. That makes it even better. Oh, even better. I mean, yeah. Um. Oh yeah. I hope there's DLC. I hope there's something that comes out for the game. I don't think there will be, but really cool. Also, the heat system in the game is really cool to make it harder. After a while, you can just keep making it harder and harder. There's people that make a uh, max heat. Uh, which makes it, it like insane. Auto. Oh, it makes it insanely hard. There's like you can make it to like it just insane amount of difficulty. But yeah, that is my Haiti story. The right, combat is addicting. It's it's the the actual companionships. I'm I every time I die, I talk to every single character every single time, and then when you finally do what he wants done. Mm-hmm. And you experience what he wanted, and then you get a heartbreaking resolution, and then you find out the game isn't about seeing your mother. <laughs> Slight spoilers, achievers. The game isn't about that. The game is about repairing your parents' love. Mm. How to get your mother back? How so to like, so like get it Hades to- through his? Really, with, with with his problem, how to sort that issue? Why did she leave in the first place? Then you find mm-hmm. out it's a little deeper than her just leaving. Why do the Olympians? Why are they involved? That's kind of strange. And then you figure out other things. Then there's almost a conspiracy happening the entire time, and now there's a whole other type uh, part of the game that you can experience that that makes the story even deeper. And I, you put 57 hours into this game. And I loved every hour. Loved every hour of it, Alex. Oh, my God. Infectious. I, 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 Alex, me talking about it, I want to go play it. Mm-hmm. I want to go play it right now. You want to know how many hours I put into Tales? 
I'll, I'll say 78. You were close. 70. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I almost got all the achievements. Yeah, you're only missing like five, right? Uh, let's see. If it'll tell me. Because I have 920 gamer score. Yeah, because I have 43, so I think I'm missing a couple. I thought I was missing less. Is that out of 50? I believe so. Let me see, because it's... I got to do the compare thing. It's a good thing I'm having a TV next to me. Yep. Let's see. I can find Tails. Uh, it's, uh, 43. It's not telling me, just because, uh, I mean, I, I have to go through. Oh, out of 40. So I'm missing four. I'm missing four achievements. Okay. 43 out of 47. Okay. So I'm almost there. But one Alex, day, I'll finish it. Achievers. Hmm. That was our top 10 game of the year. 2021. What was your top one, three, four, five, ten? Leave it below. Give Comments us your below. top t- your your ten and your one. <laughs> well, yeah, what's your 10 and your one? There you go. Let, let us know. Comments below. Patreon, of course, you can post there as well. You can leave it in five star reviews if you want. That'd be a lot funnier. Um Yeah, just let us know. I'm very curious. What what was you like? Um Alex and I might do a separate video kind of reviewing the year of 2021 in gaming, maybe. Uh, let us know if you want to see that. Uh, next on the schedule that you could be uh, anticipating is, if you see what I'm doing here with wordplay, our most anticipated games of 2022. We're going to make a faux list of our top 5, 10, 20, who knows? How many games are we looking forward to in this upcoming year of 2022? That is going to be our next video. So much. You, uh, what? There's so much. So much. Uh, and we don't even know all of it. So, Achievers, let us know what you want us to start covering. We will be back on regular scheduled programming soon. I do want to get this anticipated video out of the way first. Then we'll be back to the regular news that you like to know. Alex, Mm. anything you want to leave with the Achievers? We're closing. Go play some video games. Go play some video games. Catch up on your backlog. We have a quiet month. Me so we are literally... ending very incredibly. So mm-hmm. enjoy the time while it lasts, because we're about to go into a very, very yeah. busy February. Yeah, I with... had to do some backlogging, and it's random. I went from Witcher Two to Horizons of Dawn. I'm playing that right now. Nice. And we have that in a few weeks. So yep, expect all the casts on that, of course, and yep. so many others. So. I really appreciate that you have made it this far into the video very, very much. Thank you so much. Watch time mm-hmm. helps us so much here on YouTube and podcasts of your choice. That basically tells the algorithm that this is a good video and it should be shared. So remember, mm-hmm. if you can, give us a subscription as well. If not, at least like the video, please. That gives us so much in the back end. You have no idea. Aside from that, Achievers, that's all we have for you today. So again, leave us what, you, uh, what your top 10 is or 5 or just your 1 in 10 like Alex said in the comments below. Leave a five star review, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to bore you again with all that. And till the next time, go achieve in 2022. Go achieve.